my hairbrush? Where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where? Oh, 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 oh. Do you oh, know yes. Words yes. for that song. Vegetales, no. hey, vegetales. You know, we're busy. We're getting ready for the Great Cup, man. We got to take this serious. We're practicing. Yeah. Halftime show. Yeah, we're, oh, we're getting big now. Sorry, guys. You didn't see there. Um, sometimes I listen to a song and my face gets all like scrunchy and I think, nah, this ain't it. It may be the beat or maybe the melody, but most of the time it's because the song just doesn't tell a story. Like, where is the, my hairbrush tells a story? A good story. Okay, but don't get me wrong. Not every song has to tell a story. But the greatest songs that help us when we're going through something usually tell amazing stories. There's a moment in Acts 8 where Philip, a follower of Jesus, meets someone from out of town. After listening to the person's questions about God and hearing about their life, Philip asks permission to share about how Jesus has changed his own life. The out-of-towner is blown away by Philip's story and decides to follow Jesus. Mm. Just like Philip, you have a story about how God is working in your life. Mm. And since Jesus is at the center of it, sharing it with someone has the potential to change their life too. Take that risk. Create rhythms to share your story. And three, four, five. Broccoli, celery, gotta be. Veggie tails. <laughs> 